Typing, it's a part of life for many people. But imagine if you don't have to move a muscle to interact with your device. A soldier who's flying a UAV might be able to send those signals much more rapidly if they could send it from direct thought rather than having to type a command on the keyboard. Jacob Robinson says his team is trying to make that kind of brain-computer interface a reality. The research starts at a cellular level. We've been able to manipulate viruses so that they can introduce new genes that give cells the ability to do things they don't normally do. Such as making the genetically modified brain cells more sensitive to magnetic fields in light. Once manipulated, viruses and nanomagnets are injected into the bloodstream. Then a headset like this with lasers, light detectors and electromagnets can measure and stimulate brain activity and ultimately communicate with a machine with no brain surgery involved. Then you wear the hat, you sit in your chair and you control your UAV. Apart from military uses, Robinson says non-invasive brain-computer interface can help people regain their hearing or sight. If you've lost an eye or your retina, the part of the brain that processes that information it still functions. And if I could figure out the right pattern of activity to play in the brain, it would be as though you still had your eyes because the information reaching that part of your brain where you perceive the image is still perfectly intact. So far, Robinson's team has been able to control fruit fly behavior with magnets. Here, it's expanding its wings. DARPA would like this type of research to advance to humans in four years. Robinson says this research draws concerns with privacy and autonomy. He says ethical guidelines are in the works to maximize the benefits and minimize the risks of this technology. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Houston. Thank <laughs> you.